Hey there everyone, welcome back to Game Vine and my name is Dave and today we're going to be stargazing in the game of Starlink. Let's do it. Now, as a disclaimer, this is a review copy. It was sent to us from our friends up north, Outset Games. They are a distributor for a lot of different companies, Blue Orange being one of them, and they make some mighty fine games themselves. Go check out the 16th Samurai. That one is really fun. So, now, this is a drawing game, and if you've been watching the channel, you know that I'm not a huge fan of drawing games, but this is more like Connect the Dots. It's a kind of party game where you are getting cards and you're trying to draw them in the sky using the stars and make constellations. And as you do with most drawing games, you get an erasable marker. But the one in this one is very interesting. You want me to show you why? Let's go down to the table and I'll do that. Let's go. All right, so what comes in the box here isn't much, but it is intriguing. Now the cards are just basic cards that are gonna have different various things that you'll be drawing on here. Not a linen finish, but that's fine. And then you have this basically is the shape that you'll be drawing in. And instead of black markers, which uh, you have yourself a white marker that draws so well on this board, way better than I thought it would. But you're gonna be making shapes with this. And my, my fear is that these will dry up and be hard to find. But for the moment, this is really cool. The board is nice, has a whole bunch of different stars on it, so uh, let's go ahead and spread that bad boy out ah, and tell you how to play. Let's go. Okay, so this is the night and starry sky. It's the board. So the name of the game is to get as many points as you can over uh, the amount of the game where everyone is the illustrator twice, because one person will be drawing on the board, and after they have done drew, the other people will be guessing. There's a timer that you'll be flipping over and this will be keeping track of you drawing and guessing. So you will take one of these cards here and you'll just choose one of these two words, keeping it secret, and then you'll start drawing. The stipulations are you have to draw straight lines from one star to the next and you can use the same star twice if you want to once the constellation is done that's the last time these stars can be used now let's try to make a hat here and pick a good smattering of stars um i think this is going to be a good one so we do this and then this <clears throat> and then this 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 and we'll go here go here and we'll use that star out there and this star right here we could kind of do like a, maybe a little bit of a ribbon if we want to, but I think that kind of confuses it. I think the line without that and just makes the hat like that is much better. And you can erase and do whatever you want while the timer is going, but once the timer is done, you have to stop drawing. And then whoever thinks they know the, um, the word they would take the timer and put it in front of them and they have that much time to guess now if the um, person guesses right the illustrator and the guesser gets the amount of points that's shown on here and they'll take the cards and flip them over to keep track of their points now the there is a special thing that can happen if your illustration fits in the telescope area and everything is correct you get an extra point you and a uh, guest the illustrator and the guesser uh, do now if the drawing here is not guessed correctly it gets erased so other constellations can be made and again you continue to do that until everyone has been the illustrator at least twice and you can go as big as you want but again it has to be correct and whoever has the most points at the end of the game is the winner. So now let me tell you what I think about this game and if I recommend it. Let's go. So that is Starlink and do I recommend this one? Yes I do. I do think it is the Game Vine Play It Award and it's because it takes a drawing game and makes it easy for me to actually accomplish my goal. That's one of the main things about drawing games. I don't have much of a 
artist hand or an imagination when it comes to drawing and I kind of fall flat that's why I don't like them but my kiddo is an artist and she loves them so there's a conflicting thing and I always kind of want to meet a middle ground and this game is just that it's like I said connect the dots it makes it easy for me to kind of see it and know that I have to make straight lines there were some hindrances within that mechanism but I do think it streams lines drawing and you're not making anything grandiose and I think that's where the middle ground for me not being a great artist and my kid being a great artist kind of meets so if you're in two these type of games drawing party games this is a fantastic one I love the white markers it's it's such a awesome little addition and I don't see that very often and uh, for that uniqueness it's uh, something that kind of sparks my interest but this surprised me. I liked it, and if you're into this type of stuff, there will be a description in the link below where you can pick it up. Again, thank you so much, Outset, for seeing this, this review copy. Really do appreciate your support. Really, I mean, you folks are awesome. Now, until the next time that I see you, if you haven't already, click like and subscribe. My name is Dave. Have a great rest of your day. Have a great time with all the stargazing that you do or play. That didn't rhyme. I'm out, everybody. Bye. Bye Nation, we love making content here for you on the channel and we're almost at 10,000 subscribers. So subscribe now and help us out. This video right here, I think you'll like. This video right here, YouTube thinks you'll like. Or you can just sit here and watch me dance as a dinosaur for a little bit longer. You can visit us at our social media outlets and we're gonna be improving our Patreon here soon. That's all for today. Miko, it's time to go. Good girl, Miko.